Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek R1 has got a new upgrade. There isn't much detail, apart from the fact that DeepSeek has said on one of their Chinese platforms, or something like that, that a new upgrade has been made to DeepSeek R1, and it will be better now. The new weights, named DeepSeek R10528, are also available on Hugging Face for usage, which is quite cool, if you ask me. I think that the model might be better to use now than before, and I have been noticing quite noticeable improvements, especially in its style of reasoning. Its reasoning is now very similar to something like Claude's or Gemini's, where the reasoning is much better formatted with bullet points and everything. And I think that the base model of R1 has also been updated to DeepSeek V3.1 as well, which was recently updated, meaning that it is now way better at reasoning. Some people are saying that this is as good upgrade as R1.5, but I'm not sure, and more details are awaited from DeepSeek. The weights for the new model are also updated on the Hugging Face site, though if this is a proper update, which I think it is, because you can easily see the difference if you use the R1 model on the DeepSeek API or chat platform, and it is also now way better at front-end tasks, similar to the V3 model, meaning that it might be quite good now. So, the weights are available on Hugging Face, and should also become available on platforms like Olama, and things like that soon enough as well. DeepSeek's new models generally take a bit of time to be updated on Hugging Face, but this one is now updated. So, you might see it become available on all API options shortly. You can now try this model on both the DeepSeek platform, and the API has also been updated now, and it should reflect the new model, which is kind of cool. But, before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dart. Dart is the only truly AI-native project management tool that you'll ever need. You can use it to manage your tasks for a project, create multiple boards, organize them, and do everything that you generally do. But you can also use AI with it to manage your tasks. For example, you can ask it to generate tasks for you by brainstorming or planning projects, as well as performing duplicate detection to keep you focused. You can even assign whole tasks to Dart and it can get them done for you. You can use their composer-like AI agent that has the context of all your tasks and you can chat in natural language to just ask it to do something. It can delete tasks, create tasks, edit tasks, and handle multiple things like that. Apart from this, you can integrate it into your AI clients or coders with its MCP server, which allows your MCP client or coder to reference tasks from your dartboards. You can even integrate it into Claude, ChatGPT, and much more. Most of the features in Dart are free, while you can also get the $8 subscription for more features. Make sure that you check Dart out through the link in the description. Now, back to the video. If I try to show you what the new update is here, then, for example, if I ask it to tell me which is the bigger number between 9.9 .9 or 9.11 as well, then you'll see that it will go ahead and do the reasoning in a bit. And you can see that the reasoning is now formatted much more effectively here. Previously, this used to be a bit scattered and not as well organized. The whole going back and forth in the reasoning is also now much less frequent and it now doesn't take long reasoning breaks for simple tasks. This one question sometimes used to take a lot longer, but now it takes much less time while giving better results, which is quite awesome if you ask me. It is also now much better at front-end and SVG tasks. So, what we can do is, we can just head on over to a new thread, and let's ask it to make me a new SVG of a butterfly. And what you'll see is that it will just get started, and in just a bit, the reasoning will get done, and then it will open it up, and we can just run it. And you can see that this butterfly is actually much better than what was generated before by something like DeepSeek V3 or R1 as well. So, this is quite good. Another thing that multiple people are reporting about this model is that it now has long thinking sessions 
up to 30 to 60 minutes per task, which is quite insane, as it used to stop after a while of reasoning, but now it keeps going. I haven't tested this myself, but many people are reporting this. DeepSeek has said that this is a trial upgrade, which means that the model is going to perform insanely well. So, you can go ahead and use this accordingly. I think that this model is, like, really good, definitely better than the previous version. The whole model is now much more bug-free. Like, previously, it just used to keep going for simple questions as well. But now, this is much more versatile and bug-free as well. You can also go ahead to VS Code and upgrade Klein or RuCode to the latest version. Now, you can just go ahead and choose DeepSeek as the option, and then use the DeepSeek Reasoner option to use the new model. If you do wish to use it for free, then use it via the Kilo Code option. Kilo Code is basically RuCode and Klein, but with free $20 credits. And you can just go ahead and select the DeepSeek R1 model, and then use that accordingly through here for free. The model works really well now. I hope that they also add the reasoning effort option to it as well. That will allow us to save even more on reasoning tokens, more than what we are saving now, and we can even use the model to do some cool stuff. The new update is quite good, but I can't pinpoint exactly what it's better at, because it seems like a more stable and much more polished model than before, similar to how the DeepSeek V3 model was positioned as well. So. I really liked it. I have also seen that the R1 model is now much more structured in its responses, and it also allows for much better tool calling now. Whereas previously, it used to be really finicky with tool calling, but that's also now fixed, and it's better with things like Klein, RuCode, Kilo, or anything like that as well. You can go ahead and give the new model a try on both DeepSeek's chat platforms as well as DeepSeek's API. Other API providers should also follow suit and get the new model running on a US server for the privacy fanatics as well. So, you can keep an eye on something like Open Router and try to see if you get the model available there shortly or not, and then we can just use that accordingly. I really liked it and thought I'd talk about this because the new model is pretty good. And it's insane what DeepSeek is doing for the open source community. And the new model is actually really amazing for bringing the best frontier capabilities of models. I would love to see what new frontier capabilities the new DeepSeek models bring as well, because their models are quite good now. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.